Hey, good morning, guys. We're at the Abyss Trailhead, and we're headed up to um, Helms Lake, which is about 11 and a half miles up, about 2,400 feet of elevation gain, uh, according to my research. So it's supposed to also have some really nice aspen groves on it and some fall colors, and you can see some behind me there. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. The Abyss Trail starts out a bit flatter than I expected and was a really enjoyable walk through the woods to begin. The fall colors were sporadic at first, but about two miles in, that all changed. When you come to the creek crossing, the fall colors are all around and it is beautiful. The next mile or so of the hike is under and around Aspens, and looking back across the creek is a half gold hill. The walk down the yellow leaf road concludes with this long grove that completely surrounds the trail and takes you back to the creek for another crossing. It was simply magical. So I'm about three and a half miles into the Abyss Trail, um, and I just went through about a mile and a half of just beautiful aspens you can see behind me, um, right there. Uh, basically, like once you cross the, the creek for the first time, um, the aspens start, and then when you cross it the second time, it kind of turns more into pine and evergreen on the way to Helms Lake is where I'm hoping to get, which is about two more miles away. So if you're looking for a fall hike, um, three and a half miles might be good. Otherwise, we'll just keep trucking. While the first part of the hike was relatively flat, the next portion of the lake is steep and will really get the legs working. The trail alternates from woods to open space, then hills before opening up again closer to the lake, which allows for amazing views back down the gulch and to the giant cliffs that ring Helms Lake. Hey guys, we made it up to Helms Lake in a beautiful fall hike on uh, the Abyss Trail right now. Lots of aspens, lots of color changing, and it's pretty, uh, pretty special right now. Um, the hike was a lot harder and longer than I thought it was. It was I think it's gotten about an extra mile and a half to it uh, one way, so about an extra three miles going round trip. Um, and, you know, we're late in the season, so the lake is a little bit low, so you're seeing all these rocks exposed and, and we're kind of on the beach um, in some mud right now. But um, it's a great hike. It's a beautiful day for it, so I'm glad we did it. It's just a little bit harder than I was expecting. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the hike, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, go ahead and click on that subscribe button on the YouTube channel, uh, or follow along at FatManLittleTrail.com. Hope to see you on a trail real soon. Uh, until then, happy hiking.